from the side. So this is the control, the right one, right? The right one is the control and this is the bipolar. It seems like the leaves are reaching up a little higher Hold on. and uh, curving. I don't know. David, are they a little less hairy too? Maybe. Are they? Maybe you can probably see it better with your... I think they're almost fine. glabrous, like hairless. Okay. We're making little Paris Hilton's. <laughs> Actually, small difference in Arabidopsis is big difference in bigger plants. That's why they're a workhorse. But the question is, are they different in a small way or a large way? The leaves actually seem to be folding under almost completely. If you get a real look at the leaves, they're kind of doing this. They're folding like this, you see, underneath themselves. So what we have is like a new kind of, I don't know, curviness. Hold on. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You shine a light on it, irradiance is given to the plant. The plant fluoresces in a spectrum that a video camera can read the the fluorescence of the plant in response to the irradiance of the plant. So the plant receives light and then it kind of glows. And then what what is the spectrum that the camera, the video camera is reading? I don't know the, the actual number, but it's blue light. Yeah, so in principle you could put uh, a fluorescence camera in there so you can capture the fluorescence while you're doing this and then you could actually have like a more or less a real-time idea of how these plants are performing in terms of photosynthesis. You could do that. Radiance and the measurement of the glow of the radiance, which is 
efflorescence of the plant in response to the radiance. So it's like sun worship, the holy sun disc, Akhenaten, and then this glowing blue organic, like Wilhelm Reich's orgone light, the bions of life energy coming from the sun, which is probably excremental, burning up this, feeding us, we're entropic devices that capture light. But the idea that the glow back, the glow back is kind of warming in a religious sense. It's like, you know, that kind of, oh. I think it helps them metabolize, you know, like, like us, we need to dance, right? It helps you grow. Even your mind. experimental design. So like, how do we measure artistically? I want to look at ovule mutants, which is um, plant fetus mutants, right? Like, um, as the flower starts to develop inside the bud, if you open the bud up and do some scanning electron microscopy, you can actually see if the, if the fetuses, the embryos are mutated in an anatomical way. It'd be good to look at like gene chips like arrays of gene expression patterns on these plants before, after, and during aerarium treatments. We want to make good science and then read the data in an artistic way. Because actually there's more to data than repeatability and facts. There's so much more that gets ignored because it's not useful.